It's mid-December, and Diego Valeri is now nearly seven weeks into his recovery from ACL surgery. So far, Valeri's progress has been extremely encouraging, and the training staff remains cautiously optimistic. But for a professional athlete, the process of recovering from a significant injury is in some ways more challenging than simply playing the game. So Timbers trainer Nick Wald says the key is keeping things interesting. <laughs> Dancing. You have to be careful with an athlete that's rehabbing and, and their mentality because you you have to realize that they're not uh, they're not doing what they want to do every day, which is which is train and, and play. So we as a staff do a really uh, thorough job in terms of our planning to make sure that their their rehab doesn't become stagnant. And we try to quote unquote surprise them with uh, different rehab uh, techniques or exercises or, or what have you that are all accomplishing a common goal. And the key for me in this style of rehab, is long rehab, uh, is you know every day is try to, to, to do your best. Every day is different because your feelings are different every day. So you have to, to, to have faith every day, every day try to, to get dedication in every exercise because, you know, your healthiness de depends uh, of your rehab. So now I'm training to play. Thank you, Nick. Bueno. When a player rehabs, and uh, as a player we've been through it, uh, I know Caleb's been through it, uh, and it's frustrating because you're, you're fighting a, a time. You're wanting to get back on the field a little bit quicker. You're wanting to push yourself more than possibly the medical folks will allow. Swelling's a lot better. Yeah. Still a little tight down here, but it's getting better. Yeah. And you, you've got to listen. You've got to be confident in the people around you. You've got to take advice and, and you've got to be fully committed to the process. So that's the muscle that tends to want to shut down a little bit. So initially it's going to take a little more thinking to try to get that one to work. With Diego Valeri, you can never question his professionalism, his commitment to this organization and just his work ethic, and uh, I think we have the perfect ingredient for, for him to come back and, and be stronger than ever. Three more. Valeri's commitment is unwavering, but this is not the product of blind faith, quite the opposite. Valeri witnessed firsthand how Rodney Wallace benefited from the arsenal of resources available to Timbers players rehabbing injuries. Suffering a knee injury in the 2013 postseason, Wallace was back in the match day 18 by May. I think Diego obviously gained a lot of confidence from Rodney and the way in which Rodney was rehabbed. Uh, I think Rodney's attitude was nothing short of first class, but the, the level of support that he was given from the coaching staff, the medical staff, Providence, Sports Medicine Oregon, all of those folks were, were involved in, in Rodney making a quick recovery and a full recovery and actually coming back and being a very important player for us in 2014. Diego Valeri sees that, he, he looks at the way he was, Rodney was treated, and he's experiencing it now. Yeah, so you have to have a system, right? If you don't have a system, then you're just throwing darts at the dartboard with a blindfold on. So we have to make sure that those, those boxes are, are checked off before we progress a player. And if a player works as hard as Diego's working, or a player works as hard as Rodney Wallace did work last year, then the outcome's gonna be a good one, hopefully. It has now been a full 11 months since the Timbers gathered for their 2014 preseason training camp. And unlike a majority of players currently resting up during the MLS offseason, Diego Valeri hasn't had a single week off. That's about to change. Valeri is preparing for a trip with his family to celebrate Christmas and New Year's. Happy holidays, man. Happy Merry Christmas. Huh? See you. Uh, yeah, no, I leave today. Yeah, I leave today. You too, man. You know, the, the injury happening during the last game of the year is tough because these guys really need a, a, a recharge in the off season. It's a really, it's a pretty long, grueling season. He came to me early on and told me that he, he wanted to go uh, on this holiday with his family. I would have a, a good time with, with my daughter, you know, and, uh, with my family, with my wife, just to enjoy, you know, other, other weather, other, other time, and, uh, you know, always, obviously, I will be focused in the knee because the, the rehab is the most important now. So I'll have you go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Any scheduling conflicts with that? No. In terms of what you have to do in Florida? No. Okay. So, and then... Every morning. Every yeah. morning I would train. Mapped out what we could do with him before he left and what's, you know, where we would like to see him before he left. And Diego 
hit all of those milestones. Half kneeling, kettlebell quad stretch. Split stance, perpendicular cable pushes times 12. Remember that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if they have kettlebells where you're going. If they have a machine, tell me. And then we'll do cook hip lifts. T-hip mobility. On your stomach, on your on side, side, on, on your side. other side. There's nothing on here that you haven't done. He's gonna come back hopefully refreshed, a little bit better than he was when he left. I have no doubt in my mind that he's he's following the, uh, the program that we laid out for him. And when he comes back in, uh, uh, early January, we're going to uh, assess them again and then hopefully we'll just continue to, to take off. 2015 is just days and weeks away. And while the seats at the stadium are empty, Diego Valeri still hears the chants and the drums. The supporters remain with him, if only in spirit. And Valeri is fueled by the vision of his next time playing for the crowd at Providence Park. I know that a lot of people give me the support, you know. I, I can't see them, maybe, but I, I, I can get that energy, you know, that love, that uh, support, uh, and I'm just, I just know that. And I know that in, 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 in a short time I will be playing again, you know, and uh, just we, we will be together again. Next time, blood, sweat, and roses. Diego's a special breed. He brings it every day. As a player, we, we want to play a game. Tonight, the Timbers begin their fifth year of Major League Soccer. The day of the game, I, I really enjoyed it, you know, because it was amazing. But the week of, the, of that game was hard, you know? It's our job to help him understand, you know, he's close, but there's still work to be done.